<laughs> yeah, standing by with head coach Richie McKay. Coach, as always, thanks for making time for us. Pleasure as always, Mark. We appreciate it. Yeah, an eight-win improvement this year as opposed to last. You got the first 20-win season since the 08-09 year. A lot of accomplishments throughout the year. But for you personally, what are you most proud of about this team and about this season? That's a great question. You always say that. <laughs> you, you lead know, off with you such good questions. You need to be questions. a little bit, you it's use like, that too much. You may, I'm not buying did you prepare for this? A little, just a little. Yeah, you know, a lot to be proud of with this group. Yeah. Just because, uh, first and foremost, their representation of their last names, our basketball program, Athletics Department, University. Uh, I think our guys truly have a pursuit of being fully invested in the mission of our university. And, uh, and I love coaching. They're, right they're the obviously here, not perfect. Sure, we need more talent. You. We need better coaching. We need all that. But they're fun to do life with, and, and they feel like we're just a part of the fabric of our student body, and I love that. I just We're just a part of the body. and So I think I'm most proud of that. Obviously, uh, you can't coach without that desire to, to want to win and, uh, and be competitive for conference championships and beyond. And, and we're steadily growing and moving towards that. You finished the year 19th in the nation in scoring defense. You've preached defense ever since you got here. Grade that for me. I know coaches, you're always nitpicking. It's your job to always try to find where you can get better. Yeah. Grade your defensive performance on the season as a whole if you can. Yeah, well, I want to win more than I want to be top ranked mm -hmm. defensively. But I think the two are, are uh, congruent with, with one another. And for us, every year you do the pack defense, you get better at it. And I think we did that. I think we got better in terms of our execution of our system. You know, when we were at Virginia, Joe Harris, Justin Anderson, Malcolm Brogdon, some of those guys that are in the league now, it takes a while for you to get the nuances of this defense. So I'd say we, we graded out at a B, B or better. We, we got better defensively, and I think that's reflected in the numbers. Uh, but the stat that I was really most pleased with is the, the change in turnovers per game. Mm. We improved dramatically, and when you're getting a shot at the basket every time when you're on offense, that always helps in terms of your equation or formula to success. So I feel like we're trending in the right direction, but certainly still have a long ways to go. After not the idea, you know, we've heard of, of Lob City, Dunk City. Do, could, we, could we go Pack City? Could we try that? Could we get it on a T-shirt or? No. No? No, that's a bad idea. Okay. Have you been talking to Rhett? It was actually Rhett's yeah, idea. Yeah, it's Rhett's idea. I was, that, I, doesn't, I, that doesn't surprise I didn't you. want to throw him under the bus that like that. You. You know, it's, it's Tony Bennett's defense, yeah. and we are stealing it in its entirety. So uh, if we're if if they're Pack City, they yeah. got that's got to be in Charlottesville. Okay. Fair enough. Fair uh, but, enough. You're doing a good uh, job. Thanks, ripping thanks it for off, the try. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate it. We're good Steelers. Yeah, we're good that's thieves. right. That's all right. Yeah, thanks. Uh, young team again. You had this year. Is there a guy or two? And I know coaches hate singling out guys, but maybe that you saw progress or take a big jump throughout the year more so than maybe some others. Maybe that that it caught on, or you saw it maybe yeah. click during the season. Yeah, Georgie Pacheco yeah. Ortiz. He he had a fabulous freshman campaign. Uh, that that young man. I've said it before. He's a Big South version of London Parantas in the ACC, and if he has any semblance of London success, we're going to be really pleased at uh, our direction. He, he had a great year. Mayo Baxter-Bell, I thought, showed flashes of brilliance. He, he really did. Somebody that you didn't see and you couldn't evaluate, Scotty James, yeah. made, made some big strides. Excited um, to see him. Yeah, but uh, I, I think the, the whole group, Matt, uh, they, they did a good job of pursuing that improvement, which is foundational to what our program stands for. And, I, yeah, I, I think it'd be unfair to, to say it was just those guys because it, it was a team effort. You know, Ryan Kimwright, who would have who would have imagined he'd be our team's leading scorer and play 30-some-odd minutes a game. We couldn't win without him. So I, I just feel like we're a group that's a work in progress but certainly have been intentional about that, that pursuit. What do you feel like as we spin it forward to next season? Is there an area or two where you feel like this is where we can take the next step? Or what would that next step be for the program? Yeah, we, we got to beat Asheville, Winthrop, those who are, remain above us in the conference race and uh, if we are going to contend for a championship. But there's really good coaches yeah. in this league and really good players. And I think our continued investment in the development of our guys and continue to recruit well, uh, I think that will help us grow and, and take steps towards uh, our desired uh, outcome. But again, for me, I'm not going to base it on what our record is. Where we, where we are in the standings, I realize uh, as a coach or judge on that, I just want our program to bear fruit. I want us to be, to be young people that are a testimony to this campus and its uh, outstanding leadership, uh, but also that we are dire competitors towards what we want and what we dream about. And the, the outcomes, the results, uh, it's a hard barometer if, you, if those are your only 
uh, measures of success. So I want to make sure we stay balanced in that. And hopefully that is reflected in our, in our program and our young men. I know there really is no off season in college coaching. Coaches don't like it when you say, oh, what are you doing this off season? Yeah. You're always working. Yeah. But for you, what do the next couple of months, what does that look like this time of year for you? There's a, there's a season that no one ever talks about until they guys get to campus, but it's a recruiting season. And believe it or not, we're recruiting two and three classes in advance. Wow. So that, that never ends. Uh, our players' individual development is something that we strive for. We're not, I'm a constant learner. I, I want to know how to do it better. So uh, I'll visit some different coaches during recruiting and maybe go to a summer practice of someone going on a foreign trip, something like that, to, to try and sharpen my trade and skills. But, hey, you know, this is a time of investment in, uh, in our guys because you don't have the indictment of the loss uh, looming in front of you. But I, I, I just feel like any time we can help build relationships on and off campus, uh, I think that's what uh, these next couple of months will look like. And, of course, uh, I'm really going to try and uh, see if I can challenge Rhett to something that he's good at. You know, I see, like, I watch game one religiously. Yeah, yeah I know you do. And, and I that. see how many, time he, he, how many times he takes a defeat. Yeah. And I, I just, I want to challenge him in something that he's good at. Well, if you find out what it is, what you let be? us know. I don't, what? that, your guess is What's good What's that mine. Canadian thing that they roll the thing out and. Uh, is that curling? Curling. Maybe he's good at that. Let, we could try that. Well, we could try, try that. I, Last thing for you before I let you go. You're laughing. I know. You got, <laughs> I got me laughing. You. Rhett's laughing, too. <laughs> You've released your recruiting class for this year, or at least some names out there. Chances that there are any additions to that going forward for this year. <laughs> you're now good. you're laughing. You're good, but uh, I don't <laughs> reveal my secrets. Okay. I keep them close to the vest. Okay. We're, we're continuing to yeah. recruit, and uh, obviously we want to do it at a high level, and I think our assistant coaches have done a great job of identifying some guys, and we hope to close out the class with uh, – with a bang, yeah. so to speak. But uh, that, you'll have to stay tuned to game one in order to find out who, who we signed. Coach, we appreciate the time as always. Pleasure as always, Mike.